Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with uh, a video that doesn't have any particular theme. Um, a couple weeks ago, I finished up my Zane vs. COV series, and uh, Matilde Matast, I think is the person's name? No, Mentasti. Matilde Mentasti. Um, recommended or asked about uh, doing a Malawan takedown video probably using the uh, the same build that I was using in my Zane vs. COV series and I had made recorded the playthrough and the commentary but then some things changed before I could you know edit it and release it and uh, so I just kind of threw the idea away and not uh, decided not to do it because stuff had changed. Um, and the things that changed really that affected the video was the December 12th patch, uh, which fixed Guardian rank, and um, it it secretly fixed. When I say secretly, I mean fixed as in not declared in the patch notes that something had changed. So they secretly changed some things in the uh, in the raid, and so the content that I recorded would no longer match uh, your actual experience when playing the game if you had looked at that content. So they it would just you know it it just didn't work. Um, so I just kind of threw the idea away and was pretty much like ah whatever. But then yesterday, Moxie's DLC got released, and in that DLC, Zane has a new class mod. And that class mod is, is something special. It's, it's really, really good. And this is coming from someone that thought it was going to be meh, but it has its purpose, and it's, it, has a, it, it has a niche. And the niche turns out to be Maliwan Takedown. And so um, I am not going to do a, a guide because you really don't need a guide. There's two reasons you don't need a guide. Um, a, the class mod. And, and B, uh, the fact that it's going to get nerfed come December 31st. So if you get to this at when it's been nerfed, you really don't need a guide because it's just going to be so darn easy. But... Um, I want to show off this class mod because I just kind of think it's funny. Um, yeah, I don't know really how I feel about this class mod, guys and girls. It's uh, it's just it's nice, but it's weird. Having spent all this time doing things the hard way with Zane, um, yeah. So we'll see. And it, the reason I'm actually putting it up, I'm doing it for two reasons, including the commentary is for those of you who want to attempt this content before they nerf it on the 31st and you want to be able to say that you did it in you know uh, on the hardest mode and none of the things we're doing here is glitching or cheating well there's a little bit of glitching but no you know damage stacking or any of that kind of stuff it's just uh, we're going to be taking advantage of a really good class mod uh, to do this content so um, let me get into the build because the build reflects my gear. You guys should know that by now. And you should build around your gear um, because it makes life easy versus trying to build for a specific, find a specific piece of gear for a build because RNG in this game, it's a pain in the ass. So we're going to start in a skill tree. Um, and if you've been watching the Zane vs. COV series, I'm going to be describing the skill distributions in terms of what's changed if you want to know the full story, you, uh, you can go watch those other videos. So we're going to start in double agent tree, as we normally do, uh, because it has the less points. So we have five points in synchronicity, maxing that out, of course, and five points in, in, uh, in Donnybrook. And the reason for the Donnybrook pick is because, as you can see, um, well, let me describe the class mod first, because everything is built around this thing. This thing is called the, the, the Seeing Dead. And basically what it does, it eliminates the need to get the Hitman Capstone. All right, so the Hitman Capstone is seeing red. And it's a fantastic skill, but it's a 
horrible capstone. It is pure shit as a capstone. Forgive my French. So with this class mod, you never need to go all the way down here and pick this up. You get it for free because it has a percentage chance. It doesn't say what the percentage is. It just says um, whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapon, he has a chance to automatic, automatically activate all of his skill skills, which is what Seeing Red does, except that when you activate your, uh, your action skill, you also automatically activate all your kill skills. But on top of just activating your skill skills for shooting an enemy, it also adds a 25% effect bonus to your kill skills. So this means that in the case of Donnybrook, so in addition to the 27% that we're getting uh, just from it being a kill skill and uh, its interaction with death follows close, it is also now being additionally amplified um, an additional 25% uh, by the mod. So this 27% you're looking at is the full amplification. So this will would include Death Follows Close and the mod because um, if we take the mod off and look at it again, it's at 23%, right? So we're getting an additional 4% from the mod. Okay, so there's that. So we just just kind of maxing out our damage potential there. Uh, and the difference, of course, between our previous build is there's no longer any points in borrowed time. And the reason why we don't have any points in borrowed time is because this mod makes it so that you get to have a Calm Cool Collected build without ever actually specking into Calm Cool Collected. Um, so let's keep going here. Uh, so here we are in the undercover tree, and normally we would get down to the bottom because we wanted to get down to get to distributed denial because we wanted to be able to use the big boom blaster so that we could keep our shield full by picking up the boosters and increase our damage because we had a big boom blaster that dropped uh, uh, power boost boosters for 20% damage when you pick up one of those boosters. So... Uh, we no longer need to get all the way down here because one of the reasons we got down here and used Big Boom Blaster is because Big Boom Blaster meant that Calm Cool Collect had never had to refill our shields. We would always have pretty much full shields from Big Boom Blaster and then the only thing Calm Cool Collect would have to take care of is getting our health regen and then if our health is t maxed out, uh, resetting our action skills. But we don't have to worry about any of that anymore because the Calm allows for completely different builds. So, um, we don't even care about shield recharge delay. So we're going to get action skill cooldown because, you know, you need that in case something goes horribly wrong. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get brain freeze because I just love brain freeze. You don't need it because this is not a CCC build, but I like brain freeze. And the reason I like brain freeze has to do with this piece of gear, which is the 35% damage bonus to frozen enemies. So it's just a way to scale our damage in a way that we can control. Um, you know, the other way you scale damage with, with, uh, with artifacts is to use an elemental projector. But in a fight as chaotic as the raid, being able to get the right element activated exactly when you need it is a pain in the butt. Um, so I just like the, the icebreakers because it simplifies things. We use brain freeze to freeze something and then all incoming damage just is 35% multiplied and it's more consistent than uh, a projector. So that's what brain freeze is about, independent of calm, cool, collected. Next up, of course, is confident competence, which is just a nice 35% buff and we're gonna be using our barrier all the time because I love the barrier and that's just me. You can make your own choices. Cause, listen, with this calm, there's so much you can do. There's just so much <laughs> cool stuff. Um, four points, just because I want to get down further enough into the tree so that I can get the turns field. A lot of people don't like the turns field. I love the turns field, hands down, one of my uh, my favorites. I love it more than these other two. I, I use this one, and we're gonna probably going to use some of that um, in the fight, but the turns field is my baby. 
especially in the raid because of all the stuff that tries to rush you. And though a lot of it still gets through the barrier, it keeps enough out to make it worth it as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, you make your own choices. You live your life. You make your own choices. Next and finally, we are in the Hitman tree. So uh, <laughs> we're going to put five points in a violent momentum because I like the 20% damage at default walk speed. And we're just going to be default walking a lot. We're not going to be speeding and zooming and rooming and all of that. We're just going to get that nice, easy 20% buff from walking forwards and backwards. So that's what that is. And um, the reason for that specific choice is that our build includes or is heavily reliant on the Dictator assault rifle. And especially the Dictator assault rifle in its secondary firing mode, which means that you can't sprint and you can't jump. So since we can't sprint and jump, um, we're not getting a ton of benefit from violent speed because we cannot get to top speed. Which begs the question, why do I even have points in violent speed? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's change that. I don't need it. I really don't need the points in violent speed because I'm not really getting the benefit of it. All right. See, this is what happens when you're not a professional YouTuber and you do things in real time. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me start here because these are easy to think about. Uh-huh. Do do do. Okay, so five there, five here. So again, we just want the 20% for walk speed. Uh, this is our only source of grenade, and we have a grenade that gives us a damage buff on throw. So yeah, that. Of course, death follows close for this kill, kill skill duration and the 25% uh, kill skill bonus effect. We only need four points in this, a full five here. Uh, we, this is the skill we really want to get down to. <laughs> the way the calm works, this skill, good misfortune, has gone from being dud to stud. This thing keeps our action skills up all the time without having to worry about landing, um, not just landing critical hits, because you still want to land critical hits for maximum damage, but worrying about resets. All you need to do is just do a, sh a lot of damage, and this will keep going. So... We're just going to put enough so we get a full three points here. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's all we needed. So, reload speed. This is the first time I've got to max out this skill uh, at 23%. This is, this is a thing of beauty. Like, I love reload speed. You guys know that, right? And we're going to do... Our two favorites, which works fantastic for Malawan takedown. Um, winner's drone for freezing things. And because frozen things can't shoot you. And bad dose, which will give us some movement speed. Not a ton, but enough. And um, yeah, that that's it. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. We don't care about this because we're using um, high fire rate, low base damage weapons. So playing dirty isn't going to give us a ton of DPS. So we don't really spend any points in it. This is going to give us insane amounts of DPS. And combined with high reload, it's these two are just going to get nutty with this comm. Because, well, not with the comm, but because of the comm. Because remember, uh, when we proc, proc our action skill, they now stack. So this stacks. And this stacks. It's kind of crazy. It's going to be nuts. All right. Oh, good misfortune. Pretty nutty. Here we go. Oh, I didn't go over the gear. I'll, get, I'll go over the gear when I get in there. Man, this one's going to be long. I'm surprised people watch this stuff. Okay, let's see what our modifier is. 16% movement speed, reload speed. Yeah, so pretty neutral. 
you know, if we weren't using the dictator, we were playing a completely different set of weapons and tools, uh, then specking into violent speed and uh, the 16% buff would have been uh, pretty sweet, you know, because that would have increased our DPS. All right, so let's look at the gear that we're going to be rocking here. Of course, we have our barrier anointed Maggie. Uh, we have the dictator in the second slot. Um, then we have the Cash Infused Brainstorm with 50% Cryo Damage Anointment, which is not a ton. It's it's a little bit of a damage buff um, because Cryo versus Shields, and this is what we use this for. We use this to strip Shields. Cryo versus Shields uh, takes a big hit in a True Vault Hunter mode. So don't, for those of those people who love to claim that the only way you can do this stuff is with anointed gear, it, that's not true. You can use non-anointed gear for this with this calm and you'll be just fine. And in, and in the specific case of the Brainstormer, it's not actually doing anything significant because it's going to be Cryo versus Shield. Uh, next up, we have our Hellwalker. Still rocking a Hellwalker. Um, in the raid, I'm going to rock it in the raid. We've got a stopgap. I love this thing really really good shield uh there notice there is no other shield so there's no shield swapping no back to big boom blaster none of that this is our one or only shield but we do have multiple grenades this is our, our primary grenade but we will switch to one of these two depending on the situation if our action skill is about to go on cooldown there's no reason not to get the bonus damage uh, by switching to the piss so that's that we have a calm. We also have the executor. This, uh, that's it. These are the two now. Um, I, I don't really use this. You know, there may be some situations where I'm dealing with human enemies and I'm good with where my action skill is, and so I'll just take the extra DPS because. The reason why this comm is so good is because of the manufacturer affinity, right? So we got shotgun damage, Jacob's crit, and weapon damage. When you combine that with the executor critical hit damage, it's a really good comm for these two specific weapons. This is just a general purpose better comm overall. So if I need the extra DPS, I'll switch. Otherwise, I'm going to be rocking this the whole time. Uh, and this is not even a god roll. It's a pretty good roll. 149% uh, health regen is the only thing uh, that makes it not great. Uh, on top of that, I would have preferred a couple more points in Donnie Brook, but you know what? Whatever. It's it's a pretty damn. It's a good roll. It's a let's say an an A tier roll, a B plus A roll versus an S tier roll. And everyone knows the Ice Breaker Victory Rush. I've been rocking this thing for a while. We have also a cut purse so we can get our ammo back because we're going to be expending a lot of ammo and we're using the slam one because we don't have to melee anything we just have to do a slam it launches some rockets once the rockets hit a target we get all our ammo back uh elemental static charge there's a there are some zones where we get pinned and shocked and we're also trying to deal shock damage in that zone so when we find ourselves in that niche situation is when we put this bad boy on. If it never happens, we never need to use it. Uh, and then, of course, we have our slippery slide. And that's just to be able to avoid damage when our action skill is on cooldown. And we just want to wait until our action skill comes back. So this is very useful in the Wotan fight. And there's also a shortcut that it's useful for, which you guys are going to see. Uh, Guardian rank, whatever. Oh yeah, so Guardian rank's been fixed and Top Top is the thing that we're using the most. Alright, here we go. Let's get crazy. Like, there was a whole different approach that I had for dealing with this when I was doing the, um, uh, the guide version of this versus the, the playthrough, whatever you want to call this. So, so here's our first little cheese. We're just going to proc action skill end real quick so we can take these guys down just a couple seconds faster. Uh, we're watching our mini map because we know that the, the rats is coming up behind us. Still got it. We're just gonna keep moving. Why can't I slide? I hate the way the slide works in this game. So. 
Okay, so no, we're no longer getting the effect. The 10 second has passed. So we put on our standard grenade. We're just going to shoot this guy because I'm afraid he's going to come harass me. Get your butt over there. So we're just going to shoot these three. And then we're just going to switch over to our brainstormer. And engage... Oh, I, he, he has my attention, but I'm really not interested in him. Here's who we want. Freeze this. It's supposed to be two of them. Where's the other guy? Okay. Alright, let's get this flying guy down. Okay, here comes our friend. Let's get his shield off and get some tendrils going. Right. We got hit, but we're immune thanks to our stop get. All the shields are gone, so let's just clean this up. I can't see his head. I can now. Okay, let's get these guys with their shields on. Now look, I don't have Comco collected, but I have full uh, action skill time. Get this guy taken care of, and then we'll switch over and take care of the dogs. Let's get this guy dead again. We're immune, so we really don't care about the hit. Let's shoot this guy in the back because we're assholes. We shoot people in the back. Let's get this guy down because he's dangerous. If our shield ever breaks and we don't have any protection, why am I not hitting his head? Where the hell is it? Okay, he's dead. Let's get these guys frozen. So you can just go around and freeze things and then keep doing the tendrils and the ones that are frozen, they're going to be taking more damage now because uh, of our relic. Okay, so the, the biggest threat to our lives is going to be this guy and also the frostbite heavies. They're the two most dangerous human enemies in this game. So let's get this thing killed. It's killed. Let's get some shield stripped. Again, we can leave him frozen and go kill something else. Nothing was nearby. Uh, we can leave him frozen. This way, as we shoot something else, he's taking more damage because he's frozen and we have that relic on. We're going to ignore that guy. Okay, here, here we go. So this is what I mean. So he's frozen. I move on to somebody else to strip their shields. He's getting hit by their tendrils. So he's now taking more damage. All right, let's take care of this. Let's get this dog taken care of. He's dead. We got here Storm Trucker. So he's susceptible to shock. We're just going to get his shield on. We're just going to bump him with our deterrent field. This is why I like deterrent field. All right, let's get that killed. I thought it said, uh, I was thinking of the, the Freezy guy, not the Storm Truck. He gives a rat's ass about, where is this dog? Let's get that down. Alright, let's get some tendrils on him. Ah, uh, we're about to lose our juice. Maybe we can get it back in time if we get enough tendrils out. Yep, we got it. We're good to go. Yeah, this skill we got next. Somebody's flying. Let's bring him down to ground. Here we go. Get a reload going. Look at that fast reload. Isn't it great? Get, get some tensions out. We're gonna get a reset on that. We're good. Yeah, we're just gonna be smart. Ah, screw it. We're not gonna be smart. We're gonna depend on the game gods being kind. Uh, yep, we got full thing again. Full action skills. Get all these shields. Let's get this thing. 
It's, it's dangerous. It's dead. Let's get this guy frozen. He stopped playing games with me. Shoot him in the kneecaps. Reload as we rotate from somebody behind us. Alrighty. Alright, let's get to go. Let's get this stuff. Get this guy frozen. Get these shields stripped. Finish him off. We're close to death, but we don't care because we got salvation going. So we have nothing to really worry about. You got a death wish. All right, let's get close and personal so we can do that to his face. He's frozen, so he's taking more damage. All right, let's get these shields. Who's got a shield? Who's got a shield? Just keep moving. That's really it. If you keep moving, you'll be fine. Don't be afraid to get close because you got the turret field. Nothing can get in your way, really. Alright, let's strip that shield. Get some tendrils out to keep our, our action skill going. You're not dead? You are now. One guy left. Where'd he go? Okay. Right, let's get some tendrils out. Keep our actions still going. Yeah, the brainstormer is is Zane's new main gun now. I don't know. This guy's got just too much health. I don't. Let's get a headshot. There we go. Just slow it down a second. I I love the fact that it's it's like it's cracking me up that I'm completely ignoring the boss. It's like it's not. It doesn't matter that he's there. He's just so dead. He just doesn't even understand what's about to happen to him right now. Yeah, we don't need to change anything. We'll just do this. We want to get that crit spot? He's not showing it to us, but it's okay. Let's get that shield down. Yeah, he's he's done. Also, trick here: once you blow him up, shoot his legs, you get more legendaries. So I'm just shooting his legs. You heard that a secondary explosion? That's his legs exploding and dropping more loot. I didn't get any legendaries that time, but just a trick uh, to get more loot. Yeah, so that was pretty easy, right? So the raid at four player difficulty is not hard, but it is intense. And so it's fun, but not difficult, which is a different kind of fun than what I'm normally used to. I'm really more into fun and difficult versus just the fun because I think the difficulty is part of the fun. But anyway, that's me. All right, we'll make a, a couple minor adjustments. And I do mean minor. So we're gonna put this in just for a couple shots. And we're gonna do our little cheese again just for a couple shots. And uh, we're not gonna be freezing anything initially. So we're just going to go with this one in case we get shocked because we will be applying shock so we can do just a teeny bit more damage. Well, not a teeny bit, but you know. Um, so that's there for that. We have the right one in there. Well, actually, I don't need you anymore. We're switching to that for that. Put that down. Do our little glitchy thing. All right, then you're gonna see that it's gonna be hitting them with cryo radiation and um, shock. Now, once he gets close, wait, I don't know if he can shoot through this. As long as he's doing that, I'm not getting anywhere near him because he's really quite dangerous in that regard. Right, he's got his chest open, so we can get some crits off of him. Let's put that out there, increase our damage a little bit. He's not the one I want. I want to, okay, good. So all you need to do is get one of them down enough, shield down enough, and that'll bring an end to that. So we'll put that back on. We no longer need uh, that. Where's my Maggie? Take that off. We want our cryo bonuses. Let's crack on! Let's see, where is 
the boss himself. Let's see if we can't get some. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Alright, we just reset. Oh, now he shows up, asshole. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can't get close. And then we're just gonna use the same technique we use in Anointed, which is the bump. And bump and freeze this time. Instead of bumping and burning. Come on, gun, use the right one. I need to buy the mouse, guys. I, I can't get any crits off the head for some odd reason. Okay, let's, let's get out. We're in the danger zone. We're gonna let our stuff cool down. Get all our reading, reloading out of the way. Put that out there, put that there. Drop that, and then let's freeze some things. We're gonna go around and just Closer, will Apply Freezy to everything. So everything that's already frozen is now taking more damage. And by shooting them, we don't have to shoot him because the chains are working on his shield on our behalf. And now we just take out the dogs and then we'll focus the boss. You see that fire rate while they're gone? You see that fire rate is just <laughs> ridiculous. Oh my god, this is so funny. It's just so easy. It's so easy now. Like, it's so easy. It's just so easy. Freeze this guy. We'll leave a couple. Um, just so that we have second win opportunities. Again, the more of them group up, the less effort we have to expend. Trying to uh, actually strip the shield off the boss. And we just kill these guys, you know. They're actually stripping the shield for us. And while we're reducing um, the amount of work we have to do. Let's get over here. Get on him. Alright, he's, he's over. He doesn't know it. And now his chest is open, so this is all crits. Ah, oh, man, I had to reload. Just keep bumping. Notice I'm moving. I'm moving because you got to bump. If you don't bump, you'll turn into a chump. I'm sure somebody famous said that. Let's get these guys over here. Yeah, freeze as many people as we can. So they take more damage from the other people that we're trying to while we're trying to freeze other people. So that's really all we're doing. We're keeping an eye on our ammo. Oh shit, we need to get out. He's about to do his um, shock attack. It's really dangerous. As long as he's doing that, we're screwed. Alright, let's see if we can't go engage him. Yes, we can. Alright. One almost down. One down. About to do two. Two down. Going for three. Three. Nope. Three is down. Now let's take these assholes out. Three of you, only two of me. Those were advanced mechs, but we're off to something bigger. Let's see who else we got. Okay, now this is where I was talking about before, um, where I switched to the com and just because it, it's more, it does more damage versus the calm version because we're not trying to group control right now we're just trying to eliminate the individual enemies so we're gonna put that in still have that but I need more ammo do I need to know 92 should be enough I think do that left. I can't see anything. We don't really care because we have our stock gap. 
But no need to be stupid. Care that guy to see what we got. An executor. All right. So that's the uh, the first half of the raid on Mayhem Four four player difficulty. Yeah, clearly, it's not an issue anymore. <laughs> oh snap! Okay, yeah. So this is the the the, the shortcut thing. Actually, no, no. It's too early. I have to do something else first. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, do, 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 do. everything is as it should be. Okay. Um, I do have maximum ammo. So, yeah. The most important part about this part is blowing up all the barrels. Nothing else matters. And I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you. Like, the enemies are so easy. The only thing that'll kill you is a friggin' barrel. Like, I got killed by a barrel. And I had to start over. It wasn't that far, of course, because we're right here. Really? You're not reloaded. All this talking, I didn't reload. Shoot him in the face, 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 shoot him in the face. Him in the face. Uh, missed that one. Didn't miss that one. Didn't miss that one either, but not enough pellets to one-shot him. Blow that up. All right, had enough pellets for you. I see you. Let's get our drone out so we can track this asshole. Alright, let's get out. We need our bagger. See, it's almost back because we have full shields. Alright, let's free some shit. You're frozen and then you no longer have a head. Do you have a head? Not anymore. Alright. He's on me. I don't know where he is though. I'm just shooting wildly. I'm not actually aiming anything right now. Let's get him frozen and then finish him off. Switch. Alright. We have the shock trooper. Let's kill this guy and then shock trooper is our number one priority. Where the hell is he? No, I need the shock trooper. I can't find the shock trooper. Alright. Well, let's kill some shit. Keep our action skill going. I know there's a shock trooper somewhere. No? Only a him? Alright, get this guy. So, no, I see the shock things. Where the hell is the shock trooper? We got a frostbite. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go get that guy. Alright, screw it. We'll, we'll take you. Oh, here he is. Now, the hardest enemy to kill is actually the frostbite guy because he doesn't freeze, he doesn't stun. Brain freeze doesn't work on him. And you see how many crits, yet he's not freaking dying. Asshole. Alright, let's... You should back away. Let's just clear this up. We let our action skill reset. And then we'll continue. Let's freeze this guy. And this is why brain freeze is important, right? It's, it's free shots. So we're gonna pause for a beat. Let everything come back. Everything is back. Put that out. Barrier. Put that out. Let's get our tendrils going. Notice I stand on this side intentionally. This way, if I got knocked back, it would knock me off the damn map. Alright, let's get all these shields done. Let's bump this guy. You see all that, that immune? That would have been brain freeze. Working. Yeah, I'll... I'll this is why I love the turns. You guys just saw that, right? Like, he would have knocked me back. But in that instance, the turns field rained in his parade. Um, if this is your first time running the raid, please note, you don't always get this spawn. This time, we have a bunch of Malawan heavies. Sometimes, it's the uh, the commando trooper badasses that spawn. Not So, it's not always them. Um, we're going to... We're going to pause for a bit here, let our action skill reset. I'm going to take a drink of water.
So had we gotten the badass commandos, we would have used our um, we would have used our brainstorm instead. You know, I did a stupid thing. I should have just gotten my ammo. So we're gonna go get some ammo, and we're gonna do the skip. It's not really a skip. It's just a strategy for clearing the bridge, and we're gonna do the bridge in reverse. Um, let me get the zippity zuda one on here. So we're going to do the bridge in reverse, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Uh, close that. Make sure everything is reloaded, unlike the last time I was in here. So we're going to do the bridge in reverse. Just check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So instead of, fight, instead of fighting our way up to the bridge, we're going to ignore everything and use our slide speed to get to the end and uh, spawn all the enemies alright let's go and we're gonna keep coming this way so we want all the enemies to spawn we want everything to spawn so we got maximum tendrils going and we're gonna focus the dogs and then we're gonna focus the death balls and we'll use the humans for second wins in case things go horribly wrong. We need to get that badass unfreezing us. So this is what I was talking about before. I need to switch to, because I'm getting shock, so I can get the, the damage boost from the shock. So this actually works in our favor. This was the area I was talking about when I said, you know, we get electrocuted and then we want to take advantage of it. So that's what we're doing. Let's get this guy dead. down. We're going to ignore the humans, like I said, get the dogs because they're more dangerous. Let's melt this guy. Is there any more dogs? Yep, there's two more. Let's get the two. Let's get this dog dead. Who's left? Oh, here he is. This is the badass. He's the priority target for us. What else we got? One left. Let's just, just, just take this guy out for shits and giggles. Wrong gun. Okay, your, your guys this turn. And all the shields are gone, at least on that one. Wait, you should have spawned a long time ago. I don't know why you're just spawning now. I don't know why that's not tendling. Let the reload happen, and then we're just going to focus. We're ignoring these guys, because even though they're hitting us, it doesn't really matter. We have, uh, we have a stop gap on, so we have these five seconds of immunity, and we pretty much have salvation going all the time, so we're always pretty much um, healing. We can pretty much ignore these guys. See, I wasn't going to kill you, but you brought yourself into that. Let's get this guy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just melt. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know where he is. Alright, screw it. Let's get these, this guy. You're done. So that's how easy it is to kill the humans, which is why they are the least of our concerns. Ready to go. That's done. Let's get that dog, I see. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's dead. Now we're, now we're working our way back. This is what I was talking about. We're working our way backwards now. And um, we have a lot of shields stripped. We can just take the mag, the uh, Hellwalker in, and do some serious damage. Let's get these this badass out of the way. I said he's the most dangerous because we can't freeze him. Fine. You want my attention? You got it. Suck it. All right, we gotta get out of that. We don't want that to hit us. Let's get him done.
Is he dead? He's dead. All right, he's good. Okay. okay so we're doing more shock damage because we're being shocked, which is why I'm not worried about the shock guy right now. Switch guns, damn it. Where's the other one go? I see you. No, I need to strip some shields. More shields need to be stripped. Let's freeze you and move on. Get the dogs. We're paying attention to our ammo. You're not giving us any ammo, but you will. Let's swap that. No, nope, wrong one. And put ammo refill in. Do a quick shot. We're back to max ammo. Put you where you, be you belong. You where you belong. Put back on our elemental static charge. We'll keep that on as long as there's shock enemies around. Okay, let's see if we can't finish this guy off. Okay, we got the dog. Let's go get him. He just keeps running around. Alright, freeze him and kill him. Yeah, so I think it's safe to go back to our shock, uh, not our shock, or um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Frozen enemies, just for a little bit more DPS. We don't strictly need it. Again, once they're frozen, you can move on to the next enemy. This way, as you shoot the next enemy, you're doing more damage to the frozen target. You see how the dog is trying to block my shot? That's some pretty damn good AI, I have to admit. Good doggy, dead doggy. Oh, so somebody's standing in front of us. Once we're frozen, we go to the next guy and then we'll do that. Finish him off. The ricochet, somebody's here. And uh, you're dead. He's frozen, so we go pick on the next guy. Nobody has shields. We'll just run around and clean him up. What the hell, Walker? Comes for us all. Can I get that moving headshot? Yes, I can. I most certainly can. All right. Once he's frozen, we move to the next target. So the guy behind us takes more damage, and just one shot, he's dead. That's how you do it, and one shot, he's dead. If, if I hit him, he would be dead. Alright. I think we're good. Let's see what kind of loot we got. Wood blocker. I'll take it. If it's anointed, I keep it. Unless I already have it. So, I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I have to pick this shit up. Okay, let me reload. Run. I'm not... Wasn't quite ready for that yet. Let's go. We need flushing shit out, dude. You're about to get flushed. Alright, we're going to save him for last because he's the hardest one to deal with. One down. You should be dead. I thought you were dead. There we go. And then we have Flamethrower everybody. Pretty easy to kill because he actually freezes. And now we'll just bump this guy until we can get our hits. For him. Put Fire that out. Just work. increase our damage a little bit. You know what? Let's just increase our damage a little bit more. So we get the, the, the Jacob's benefits. We have to be careful in case he jumps and knocks us off. Oh, they drop more shit. Nice. Alright. Now it's on to Wotan. <laughs> I told you guys, man. It's, it's so not hard anymore. They just don't even need to nerf it. To nerf it is a slap in the face. Oh my god, it's so freaking easy now. Um, I'm going to make a couple minor uh, gear adjustments before I go into the fight. I need to put you in and put you back on and get rid of the frozen and do um, slide speed. And this is, we're just using the slide speed. So uh, when our action skill is on cooldown, 
we can avoid incoming damage. No, I don't need that. I need you. And we're going to do our cheese so we can get that shield down. So we're putting radiation, cryo, and shock. So we'll do a little bit of cheesy. A little bit of cheese. It's in, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so not hard, guys, right now. Gah! This calm is just kind of ridiculous. So if you haven't farmed for it yet, make sure you get into the Moxie DLC and farm it and get your shot at taking on Wotan at four player difficulty before it gets nerfed. Now that is definitely your target. Okay. Like so that put that up. up. Do our cheese. Get that shield down. Alright, now that that's down, let's put the right one on. We want the cryo version. We can take off the piss and put this on. Because this is just con consistent, flat, 25% damage every 15 seconds, right? So it says it's, it's good for 6 seconds, but it gets activated every 15 seconds because of Winter's Drone. Uh, so it's just more consistent than depending on the, the piss. So. so we have some kill skills active, which means that we get a movement speed increase, which is why we're doing so much damage. So we are going to... You know what, we're going to leave this on and then just use this. If we can find the hole. Right, here's a hole. And we're using them to chain that. Switch this back. For corporate. <laughs> we can get a little bit more damage by sliding while we reload while the round travels. So we just slide while we reload. Just a, just a little bit more. Just, you know, okay, these guys are really, really dangerous. But we're going to use them for second wins. Okay. So we're going to switch back up to this. We're going to wait for something to spawn. We're waiting for humans to spawn. Why won't any humans spawn? Right, let's get some health. This is weird. Usually humans spawn in here, but none are spawning right now. I don't understand. He's standing in the thing, so I can't actually shoot him. Asshole. Yeah. Um, this is the first. There are no humans spawning. Alright, let's get out. Other action skill reset. Usually, there are a bunch of humans that human enemies that spawn, which we then shoot in the head to get the tendrils going and all that good stuff, but that doesn't seem to be happening this time. Let's get in there. Oh, here we go. Here they go. We need to get some shots in before we lie. Okay, so this, this is all we do. We just shoot the humans, we wait for them to respawn, we shoot them in the head, and we let the tendrils strip his shield. We don't even try to shoot him. Just like that. And just like that, his shield is down. Alright, let's get out. Uh, we don't want to be, we don't want to be, I want to go over here. All right, we're going to switch gear. Uh, put my baby in. And, um, eh. What else? You know what? You know what? Let's not be stupid. We're going to take advantage of the action skill. And for radiation damage. I can't get a headshot from here. I'm slow, I'm in dangerous area. But I do have a stopgap, so it doesn't really matter. Because I have immunity, so I can do that. Pick that up. Jump. Drop that there. And... Let's get some more damage out. And that's the end of his shield. So we can put that away, and um, 
Who am I looking for? You. You're, you're who I'm looking for. And nope, you're not the one I'm looking for. You're the one I'm looking for. And get that going. And we have our zippity zoo, zippity boo. Here. Ah, this'll be just for the crack. <laughs> oh, I need to strip his shield. He has another shield. I swear to God. You think I'd have this memorized by now? Let's get that shield off, okay? So now it's time to kill him. We'll put that in. No, no, no I want you. What's my ammo situation? We are looking good. And we'll do this. I don't know why he's... He's really hiding from me? You shit me right now? Holy shit, that's never happened! Usually he's like in my face. But now he's like, oh, bitch made. Alright, let's get some shit killed. Let's murder some stuff. We are doing some serious murdering. Alright. Um, I like moving. I was going to put it down just to do a little bit extra damage, but he's almost dead anyway, so what the hell do I care? Take down done. Alright, let's go clean up. Wait, where's the head? Where's the head? I need to get the head. I don't know where the head is. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on! I love shooting the head. I don't know why I love shooting it so much. I just do. Because I'm weird. And it's over. Really? Let the reload happen. Finish him off. Finish her off. Minimap says the next target is this guy. He came to me. I didn't have to go to him. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Let's put you back in. What's our ammo situation? Ammo is good. And that's done. And I thought he was going to hit with the ball. Is it chasing him? Do you guys see that? What the fudge? Okay. So that is Malawan Takedown, ladies and gentlemen, with the new Zane Calm. It is a non-issue. You can farm your butt off and uh, get some good loot. I hope you guys try it out in four-player difficulty before they nerf it, and then it just becomes a proving grounds. And, um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I, I hope you learned something from this, and I will catch you guys in the next one.